There are a growing number of podcasters and authors in the state, and we like to celebrate these creators by getting in on the conversation. And in today's Let's Talk, we welcome Melissa Ahonen. She's the author of a new book. Melissa, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Melissa, the book that you just released is titled Will a Witch Saves Christmas. Yes. It's a children's book, I'm, I'm guessing. Tell us about the adventure that Willow Witch goes through. Yeah, so actually Willow Witch Saves Christmas started as a picture book, but I just had so much to share during the story. I decided to uh, actually lengthen it and make it a early reader chapter book instead. So Willow Witch is a tween. She uh, gets hiccups when she um, rides her broom, she messes up her spells, and she has to kind of figure herself out throughout the book and really believe in herself. And uh, Christmas Eve, she's baking cookies and messing that up as well. And Santa crashes outside of her cottage and she has to help Santa and figure out her spells in time uh, to help deliver all of the presents to help save Christmas. And along the way, her spells get a little hiccups. She messes them up, but in the end, she helps deliver everything just in time. So it's really a feel-good, magical story and kind of believing in yourself and, and understanding yourself along the way that it's okay of who you are and what you, what you love to do along the way with all the magic in between. That sounds like an incredible story. Thank you. Um, when you say young reader, young chapter book reader, uh, what age group is that about? So I'd say about ages seven to 10 or 11. So really it's um, an early chapter book. It's about 95 pages long. So it's really the beginning of chapter books. So it's kind of like the Junie B. Jones and um, Magic Treehouse kind of length. So it's not those longer books that you see when you're getting to those two, 300 page chapter books, but mm -hmm. the earlier ones. So you're getting past those picture books, but you have that little longer, um, you know, length in story where you have that attention span for kids that can read a little bit longer stories on their own. And let's talk about your background because yeah. this isn't the first book that you've actually written. No, it's not. Tell us about the other publications that you have out. Yep, so I have published two other children's books. They're at Picture Books. Um, uh, it's called Daily Affirmations, or excuse me, It's Great to Be Me, Daily Affirmations for Children was the first book I published last January. And then Aspen's Magical Mermaid Necklace is the other picture book that I published last July. So I've published two picture books and I have a couple other picture books in the work as well. And then I have a follow-up for Willow Witch Saves Christmas coming as well. So Willow Witch will be a series. So there'll be a lot of different adventures she goes on um, with her friends and fellow witches that are in her school uh, as well in the series. Where do you draw inspiration for creating these stories? So my kiddos, um, other kids give me inspiration. Sometimes I'll be sitting there. One of the books that I'm working on, it's called Benny's Burrito Too Tight Tuxedo. Um, <laughs> and it literally, we were eating supper one night and... Um, my son was eating a burrito and all of a sudden I just looked at it and I was like, hmm, wouldn't it be great if I wrote a story about a burrito who just wanted to be something different? And it just kind of manifested from there. I don't know, it just, some stories just kind of pop in your head and they just go from there. I don't know, yeah. it just kind of, it's fun to create and be, be different, but they kind of stem from everywhere. Sounds like something I can relate to. Jeff's burrito, too tight tuxedo. <laughs> 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 The, the affirmations, I, I, yes. I want to talk to you about that yeah. because I feel like that is something that, to be clear, affirmations, if done right, uh, are, are real and, and they definitely work. And Absolutely. I think it's great that you're helping kids learn that because it isn't something that's taught in school and maybe mm -hmm. should be. Um, what is the inspiration behind something like that and is that something you, you plan to continue to build on? Absolutely. So that actually came from my daughter and I were doing affirmations and our neighbor had this big blow up in her yard and my daughter was scared of it. She was about three at the time. And so we were going to walk by it and she, we were, I told her we could go to the other side of the road and she grabbed my hand. She goes, no, mom, remember, I'm brave. I can do this. And brave is one of those daily affirmations we did. And so it kind of was that light bulb moment where I thought, if we do these affirmations and they stick with her and she really truly believes these things that we say, I hope other children understand that it's those things that they do every day that make them great. It's not the shoes that they wear or the clothes that they have or the phone that they own, but it's being smart or kind or unique in, in those aspects. So um, that was truly the inspiration for that book. And so I do a lot of school visits and uh, with that book. And so um, the teachers seem to love that book as well um, and getting that message across to, to kids everywhere. So that's probably my favorite book that I've written just because of that message that's inside of it. Yeah. It's certainly a powerful message and yeah. it's great to see you write uh, books like that. Have you always wanted to be an author? 
Yes, so I've been writing since the age of nine. Um, my mom was so awesome. I grew up in a very small town, so my mom would always take us to um, author visits um, up in Minot. So, you know, small town, they didn't come to our, t our town, but she would uh, take us there and I would get to meet, um, you know, Jane Yolen and other authors like that. And that truly inspired me to want to write. And um, I know you were talking about bucket lists earlier. And so it was always a bucket list of mine to write a children's book. And one day I just looked at my husband, I'm like, I'm gonna write a children's book. And he said, what took you so long? <laughs> so, um, you know, it's, I just decided one day, yep, I need to do this. So yeah, it's always been inside of me. I've always loved to write. And I just thought, you know, what's taking me so long? Why am I not doing the things that I always have wanted to do? You live in your dream. Yeah. I well, love it. Now you have three of them. Now. Yeah. We love to see that. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for having Melissa. me. Appreciate it. This has been Let's Talk. And to learn more about Melissa or to purchase her new book, head to her website, melissaathonan.com. You can also keep up with Melissa by following her on social media. All right.